Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to be discussing a feature in MasterFeeder called Safes. The safe in a bank allows you to put things in there that you don't want anybody to mess with. When you recall a new snapshot, there are certain things that you may not want MasterFeeder to recall. So let's open up the snapshot that we have in this show, upper right hand corner. That brings up the show. I have a snapshot called Safes. Let's replace it just to make sure it's current. So now we have a current version of our mix saved and it's called Safes. Let's go to Trisha's mix. You can see here that she only has one thing turned up in her mix and it's her vocal, Trisha. We can also tap on the master and we can see at the very top it says negative 5.0 dB. Now that's what is stored as part of this snapshot. Let's lower that quite a bit just so we can see what's going on here. Let's go back to our main mix. Now let's go to safes and let's pretend that we want to be able to go to a whole bunch of different snapshots, maybe different songs, whatever. But there's one thing that we do not want to ever get changed when a new snapshot is recalled. And that would be Aux 1. That's Trisha's mix. Okay, we have just her mix turned on. I shouldn't say turned on. It's protected. Okay, let's go back and look at her level. Remember, we turned it way down. Okay, let's go back up here and let's recall a different setup. Let's recall uh, the safes, the one that we started with. Recall. Recall this snapshot. Now, when we click on Trisha's mix, is it going to be back up where it was in this snapshot? Or is it going to be turned down like we turned it down, but we told it, don't mess with that. So when we go on Trisha's mix, it's going to be sitting right where it was. Let's do this. Let's turn that off. Now, let's go back again and recall the same snapshot. Now look, it put it where it belongs in the snapshot. Whenever we recall any snapshot, it is not going to recall the information that is stored in that snapshot for her mix. You can see here, there are multiple things that you can click on. You could, for instance, click all the aux mixes. Let's pretend that you have six monitor mixes and you want to make sure that you could go to different songs or different snapshots, but you will know that because all six auxes are saved, I guess I just made up a word, saved, <laughs> that when you recall any snapshot, any of the output information from those mixes will not be recalled. The next video will be about compression. Not all compressors are the same. They all act different, they all sound different, but it's very important to understand the features of a compressor, how to set them based on what it is you're compressing. We're going to specifically look at compressing a vocal in the next video. and. Please like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel. Also, ring the bell. Thank you.